Now, welcome to our showroom. Let me introduce you to Lara, Light Agile Robotic Assistant. I mean, Lara is made to assist you and me. And Lara is a cobot. Lara has six axes, so it means it has six degrees of freedom and is collaborative, so it means over touch. So, What's very, uh, very special about <coughs> Lara is actually the design, how she's made. Once she's made to be super low cost, and the other side, she's made actually also to, very, uh, to be very easy to maintain. Because until now, if you want to have something low cost, it's very difficult to maintain. Lara is different. Lara is super, super easy and fast to maintain. Also, we have two different versions of Lara. Lara, we have uh, what you see here is actually Lara 5. So it means she has a payload of 5 kilogram and has a reach about 800 millimeter. We have also one different version if you want to carry something more heavier. So it means we have Lara 10 and there's also a new version coming very soon. What is very special about Lara? I mean, Lara is a cobot, or there is already cobots existing on the market, but this cobot is actually made to, to work also with, with different uh, environments. Like, Lara is made to be very easily set up in different environments. So it means today maybe you make your job here, tomorrow maybe somewhere else, or even in maybe some hours. So this is why she's designed very, very lightweight. We have a very, very high precision and accuracy like in path and also in position and repability because of our new encoder technology which we developed to make her very, very precise, to be different than the most cobots because she can also do super, super precise work. And also different than the most cobots is actually the protection class. Lara is made, even she look very, very cute, she's also made to work also in more rough environments. So environments which have a little bit of water, environments maybe in the medical field, where nothing also too easy to clean. Like there's many environments what she is made for and what we are right now uh, certifying for. So also very special, also different than the most cobots, she has actually a very unique uh, uh, tool center point like Antifactor board. So with this Antifactor board, we are able to support many kind of uh, new interfaces, also for any, any gripper you can find on the market. So it means here we have standard GPIOs, we also have Mod Modbus and also IOLink just on TCP. And for the future of the grippers, we have also Ethercat and Canvas to support all kind of force torque sensors, maybe even our own one. And also we have um, some control buttons to actually program the robot much faster and easier, just also without a teach pendant. We have actually also one LED light here, which is also showing the status of Lara. Like what mood is she in? Maybe she has some issues. She will show you through this LED light uh, what you see here. But now we are coming actually to something which is, I think, also the most important part for having a very nice user experience. And that's actually the part of using it. Like, and how do we use Lara? Actually, we have some ways. One is, like I said before, over the buttons, over zero graffiti, and the other is over a very nice and very clean user interface and very easy user interface like a smartphone. So let me come right away into this like, user experience. We, we shouldn't wait now. Or we wait already a long time. So let me just start to just turn on Lara and show you what she, how you can use her. So in one side, you can just actually click on any kind of axis and just start using her or 
like so if I want to move her, I don't want to, I don't have to think a lot or whatever. I just click on the axis and move the axis. That's actually how easy she is. Also, there is some other features like you turn on zero gravity. From now on, you can just grab her and actually teach her by just putting her in any position you want. And from here also, there's a record function. So it means you can actually record any action, what you're doing now, and also then stop it and also play it. How to program her? Like all our, our robots, we are programming her over a very easy user interface. And that's actually over, a, how to say it, a drag and drop function. So it means everything you want to program, you just grab it and put it in the position and also adding the points because also the points right away popping up to tell like which point do you want to have into this program. So actually to introduce like some more function, I would say I invite you to our here to our showrooms and come here and and see yourself like how simple it is to work with her and how simple it is to work uh, to set her up and how simple it is to change like the environments for her and she will always work she's robust she's also fast she's also very precise